We're coming into what I think is the most dangerous fire season, of, dangerous build up to a fire season I've seen since 1994 when New South Wales was devastated. And there's not even platitudes, there's just closed doors and closed, closed minds as far as I'm concerned. Um, that's atrocious, that our national government doesn't recognise that there's a disaster heading their way. How you doing, Scott Roars? I worked with your mates in uh, 2017 on the pocket fire. Oh, really? When I started in this business uh, with with the forestry, um, our seasons, especially in this region, would maybe run the four good months, right? Now, <laughs> we start in April and we go almost to Christmas. The most fire prone parts of the planet are burning more and more here in California. 18,000 homes last year, 9,000 the year before. Um, previously, 3,000 was the biggest that they'd, they'd think of. They're just shaking their heads saying, what the hell is around the corner? I noticed the fire seasons were getting longer. There was less rain in winter. The winds are getting stronger and the days of bad fire danger, there's just becoming more and more of those. Over the years, I noticed this and the fires are harder to fight. And people are saying now, we've got major fires in New South Wales. We've had them in Queensland. These are months early, they started in August, but that's what's happening every year now. They're getting in Hercules, ex-military Hercules aircraft that carry three times as much water as their current aircraft. They're getting Black Hawk helicopters with 4,500 litre tanks for exactly the same reason, because the fires are just becoming uncontrollable. We lease heavy firefighting aircraft from here, the Ericsson Sky Cranes, Elvis, people call them Elvis. Um, we don't have them in Australia. So their air force of 23, one fire service, 23 fixed wing water bombers, we have one in New South Wales. As each of the states and territories in Australia, their fire seasons heat up um, and start early, they won't be able to share trucks, people, uh, incident management personnel. So it's going to be harder and harder to fight these fires. And we need a national response to this. Climate change is real. It's making it a more dangerous planet for everybody, but particularly in Australia, there needs to be a national response. You had 23 experts willing to sit down with the Prime Minister and come up with solutions, but he's just fobbed us off.